one so i received uh i want to say a preview of what's to come for the dior cruise 2023 cruise collection i believe that's dropping on the 11th of november and i received this pictures from my essay just to see what's coming up i have to say almost everything here looks so excited i kind of put myself on a spending ban after i bought my birthday present so my birthday was last week and at the start of october i bought a bag from dior if you want to check that out i'll leave a link here for you to go and have a look at that that bag was absolutely gorgeous it's my favorite piece um in my collection right now it's not an everyday bag but it's a bag that i'm obsessed with and since then i think I have been sort of obsessed with Dior and I'm on the hunt for special pieces from Dior because they're just extremely beautiful. Now I know Dior is not one of those brands that typically hold their value but I don't buy bags to resell them, I buy them because I just love them. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Odette and I do fashion and lifestyle videos for The Working Girl and today I am filming a slightly different video than I normally film which is just showing you guys what is to come in the Deal 2023 cruise collection and if it's something that you are interested in, what this video will do, just give you a heads up of what's coming in the store, particularly in the accessories realm, so I'm talking mostly bags. And yeah, if there's anything that you're interested, definitely reach out to your essays or definitely go into the store and show them the pictures. And if they have availability, they're most likely to reserve one for you. That's definitely what I did for my birthday gift. I saw a picture online, went to the store and I said, hey, do you guys have this? And they kept one for me and I was able to get it. So I want to share the love and hopefully you guys can find something that you like and maybe get one. First bag is this Christian Dior book tote. Now when the book totes came out, I was just like, Ugh, I don't really care for them. They're all right. I don't know if they're actually worth the price. If I really wanted to get like a tote bag, I could probably get something from um, Saint Laurent. But I have to say, in this collection, I think they're two book totes. They're quite similar, but they're different a little bit. And I'll you see the difference in a second. But when I saw this book tote, I was like, hmm, I am really tempted to pick up a book tote now. This is really pretty. I love that kind of star line collection. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a... Some, something like a star, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I really love that. I have to say with the book totes, and I did tell that to my essay, that I wish Dior would come out with one that doesn't have the Christian Dior right across it. I think that's the only thing that sort of puts me off from the book totes. I don't mind a logo every now and again, but for the most part, I think I'm sort of getting out of that whole logo thing and this Christian Dior one is, is really bold so that but I really like this bag and if I were to ever get a book tote it would definitely be something like this. So the next bag this looks like a micro bag and it comes in this really pretty box. I'm gonna zoom in and see what we can see. So it's a beaded bag in this light beige color again a very special piece this is so pretty my only issue is i don't particularly like micro bags they are not practical a phone can't fit in it and i know most of us don't even put our phone in our bags i'm definitely guilty of that i always have my phone in my hand and in my pocket but i do like the option of keeping it in my bag particularly if i'm going um to like a restaurant or something like that i like that option but that notwithstanding, this is still a pretty bag. It's very much, I can see some embroidery going on and some beading going on, which is similar to my own bag that I got for my birthday. And I love the fact that it's in a box because it kind of keeps the bag safe. So this one is a D-Light bag with that cute embroidery. I, no, this is not a D-Light, what am I saying? The D-Joy bag. So it's kind of the newer version of the Lady Dior, which is called the D-Joy. It's not my cup of tea. I do love Cassie's bag. She has a blue version of this and it's pretty, but I don't know that I would love how it sits on my shoulder. It's, it's, it just looks so awkward. The shape is just not ideal. I know it's a popular shape now amongst designer houses, but it's not for me personally. So this is a no. Next one's a saddle bag. I'm not sure what size this is, but ugh, I've never tried on a saddle bag, but it just seems like such an impractical type of bag. It, I, there is something about it that I like and I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'd rather use that money and buy something that I really, really like. Having said that, I do like a black and gold bag. <laughs> I say that as someone who doesn't have a lot of black bags. I do like the embroidery on it. I think it does something slightly different, but it's not my cup of tea. But I still think it's a cute bag and if, if you were ever to go for a saddle bag, this would definitely be a recommendation from me. So this is not a Christian Dior 
um, book tote. So this one is slightly different from the one I showed you. The colors are the same. This is probably the color theme of the cruise collection. What you'd see with the D-lights and, you know, their standard bags, etc. But this one is slightly different because this one has more of a forestry theme going on in the background. You see like birds, trees, etc. Meanwhile, the other one that I showed you, and I can pop it up again, it had like a star type of design in the middle, kind of zodiac -y design in the middle. So again, the same thing. I would imagine that this would come out probably in the three sizes. I'm not entirely sure. So Dior now has a small, it has a medium and a large bag. This bag is pretty much similar to the one that I just showed you, except for the fact that it's in a black and gold version. I do like this a little bit. I'm not sure why. To be fair, if you were to get a Dior book tote, it makes sense to get it in a dark color. You don't want it to easily get stained or darkened. So something like this seems a lot more practical than the lighter version. Still, in terms of beauty, I prefer the lighter version, but in terms of practicality, this one makes a lot more sense. This is the next bag. This one is called the Dior Camp, as you can see there anyways. They do have a backpack version of this bag, if I'm not mistaken. It... Not a fan, not a fan at all. Yeah, it's giving me backpack vibes, except that this one is meant to be a shoulder bag messenger bag vibes maybe not a fan so yeah we'll probably move on to the next one so the next bag is this delight bag pretty much the same remember when i said before that when they usually come out with a print for a particular release they would have that in delight bag and in other versions even in the shoe and things like that so clearly this print in the lighter and darker color but they have it here in the delight bag it's still a cute bag i'm not a huge fan for the delight bags to be honest with you they're slightly cheaper than the Lady Dior's themselves, so the leather version. And I'd rather add that extra hundreds of pounds, I was about to say dollars, and hundreds of pounds, and actually get the leather version because I don't know how the canvas holds up. If you're going to spend all that kind of money on a Dior bag, I mean, it makes sense to get a leather version. If I'm going to get a canvas, then it's going to be a book tote and it's going to be the price of a book tote, which I still think it's a little bit overpriced, but it's still better than a deal like that's almost the price of a leather Lady Dior, so. And this is just the lighter version. Same thing, same feelings. But I have to say the lighter version is definitely prettier than the darker version. This bag is extremely gorgeous. I remember the first time I saw this bag was on Trish's website. You know, I spoke about her. If you watch my last video, then you know that she is like my go-to Dior bag girl because she always have the details before anybody does. She even has it before my essay does because whenever I show them, they're like, where did you get these pictures from? We've not even seen this yet. So she always seems to have it before everyone does. And I remember when I saw this bag, I was just like, this is pretty. This is a great bag, great winter. I like This is for me an all season bag. It's like a white and gold bag. I saw this bag and I immediately fell for it. This is classic Dior. The designs are pretty. They're just, they're just really, they're everything you'd want in a bag. It's a medium sized bag that you get. I definitely want to see this bag in person. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites from this collection. This one is a mini bag. I can do with mini bags. Um, your phone, can your phone fit? No, my phone can't fit in a mini bag, but a small phone can definitely fit. This is a great mini bag. I always thought I would get the, um, Dior, what's that, the pearl, it's, it's, it's like a pink pearly color. I always thought if I was to get a Dior bag, it would be that one. But this, this is really pretty. I don't think this is an exotic material. Let me just have a look. So this one is printed and embroidered. It would be slightly more expensive than your standard mini bags that you get in leather because there's a bit of embroidery on it. But I still think if I were to ever go for a mini, it would probably be something like this. It's a really cute bag, great day bag. I can see this bag going from day to night. So definitely something worth considering if you are after a mini bag from Dior. So here we have the saddle bag in that standard Dior print for this collection. Uh, it's an all right bag. I mean, you'd always have something like this in whatever standard print they have for that collection so it's a cute bag um, i still prefer the leather version with the embroidery on it over this canvas version but in terms of price this would definitely be cheaper than the leather version in case you were still looking to get something like this i'm obsessed with the lighter print for this collection so definitely a yes from me a huge tick hmm i would be <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if i end up getting this bag after everything i've said about it because um, <laughs> this is really pretty. So this one, not for me at all. I don't know what Dior was thinking when they came out with this bag. It's not my cup of tea personally, but obviously if it's something that you like, definitely 
go for it buy what you like this is called the D bubble bag you can see that this one is in slightly isn't that different print the one that is like a star print or something like that where you have that star above the Christian Dior um, embroidery but cute bag I guess just not for me um, this is in the small size so I don't know if they're gonna be coming up with other sizes but this is another color of the Dio bag we saw this one the lighter version because you remember this one is the star version so we have it in blue Ugh, I'm not a huge fan I know Dio does like this sort of blue color when they do their clothes they do their prints they oblique print it's usually in this type of blue not a fan of that blue but again if you like it definitely get it because i mean why not right so this is that same print just in a different style so this is called the dior camp bag um pretty much looks like a messenger bag to me yeah it's a crossbody messenger bag yeah i have nothing to say about this not personally my style but obviously if you like it then it don't see why you shouldn't get it. So again, that same print, but in the D light style. Hmm, this is not actually that bad. I have to say, still it's a canvas bag. If I was to get this, I'd get it in the white version, not this one. So another one, but I do love the contrast with gold. This, I, th I think it adds a bit of interest. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this, if I were to buy a bag from this collection, it would be this one. I also like the white and gold one, but this one takes the cake for me. It's just an amazing bag. It's extremely beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, uh, I mean, it's just heavenly, isn't it? So this one, it seems like there's no beading on it. It's mostly printed and embroidered. So yeah, I, I'm I, I, another bag that I want to see in person. This is definitely going to be a favorite of mine. When it comes to Dior bags, I really do love their special collections because they tend to be unique. Like they tend to release these unique bags, which I know they're slightly more expensive than their standard leather versions. But if you're going to get a deal, get something like this. This for me is definitely going to be a really cool spring summer bag. Amazing. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with an all white outfit. I'm already planning the outfits around this bag. That's just to tell you how much I love it. I think it's such a pretty bag. I'm very much tempted to get it, but I'm going to see it in person and maybe at that point see whether it's really worth it but this bag for me is just it's like my number it's my number one 100 percent so another tote bag mm, not a huge fan of this yeah the print is cute and everything but i have to say i'm not a huge fan at all obviously i know a lot of people are going to like it because people do like when they have the book totes that are slightly more different than their standard one even their standard print or something like this with the different colors i know people are really going to like this this bag is really pretty i have to say it's so pretty it's painted i love the different colors it's such an interesting art piece to me the craftsmanship on this just looks incredible i think when i see it in person i'm going to gasp i can see this one flying off the shelves the only thing i don't like about it is the thick strap i'm not a fan of thick straps i prefer my straps to be a bit slim but it's definitely a bag that i'm going to have a look at I just wonder how would you style something like this? I think it will be a lot harder to style, but I have to say it's definitely a work of art. You know how people say this is a work of art on TikTok or Instagram. This is definitely a work of art in my opinion. And this saddlebag, pretty, 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 pretty. Another work of art, it's extremely gorgeous. This I can definitely see going with a lot of things in my wardrobe, again, painted on just gorgeous i wear a lot of neutrals and a lot of browns so i can 100 percent see this working with items that i already have in my in my closet if they have this print in the the lady dior i can see myself buying it and i think this is the last one this is a carol bag i believe that's what's called uh diamante beaded bag is very festive i can see a lot of people buying this to wear during the christmas season to wear to parties um, the carol bag has never really been something that has spoken to me but I have to say this is really pretty like this would definitely steal the show if you were looking for a bag to wear during the party season or something that was really special and would make you stand out this is definitely it so the next set of bags I'm just gonna go through them very quickly just because I don't have anything more to add I could just quickly show you what they look like so you have this black one with sort of like black beads and silver hardware 
cute bag is very western-esque with all the beading around it you can see 100 percent western vibe sorry it's getting dark outside so i have to kind of go quickly otherwise we'll lose we'll lose the light completely i think i prefer the tan more than the black again when i look at it i immediately think western styling or you know like american western styling every year dior releases exotic bags as well so this is i believe is an alligator bags they tend to be quite expensive i'm never a huge fan of the exotic bags they're pretty don't get me wrong but i'd rather have something that is printed versus something that's exotic and you have this this i believe would be a mini bag i actually like this color still alligator exotic but again for the price i'd rather get the other mini bag that i showed you that i said i really liked so this one so this is a small actually this next one is a mini as well similar to the last one that i showed you except that it's like in a brown color and they've done it as well for the caro bag again exotic so you'd pay a premium for it basically so that was it for the bags there are a couple of small little goods that i wanted to share with you guys as well so this one you have a micro lady dior very cute bag but again why would i buy it you can't do anything with it it's just really an accessory like i said there are other accessories that i think are really cute i'm gonna pop them up here but we are losing the light now so i'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video but those were the bags that were shared with me let me know which one is your favorite like i mentioned the three bags that i absolutely love is the white and gold one the white and blue one and that out of funny mixed color one that I don't think I'm going to get because I don't like the strap and I, and I think it will be relatively harder to style versus the other two but those are my favorite let me know which items are your favorite let me know if you plan to get any of these bags personally like I said I'm on a spending ban because of what I bought for my birthday but I can definitely indulge over them why not um, and if I manage to see them in person I would definitely be doing sort of a shorts just to show you what they look like and maybe my thoughts on them again but anyway thank you for watching to this point let me know in the comment section which bag you think is the prettiest so thank you so much for watching this point and I'll see you in my next video bye bye